Hello, I'm Atuba George, and thank God for this opportunity to bring God's truth to you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we honor you today. We receive today our daily bread, Lord. Thank you for fresh revelation coming from your heart and hitting our spirits. And an understanding heart is being given to us today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. We are in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And now, now we stopped in verse 3 yesterday. And then he says, Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God call it Jesus a cost. And no man, and that no man can say. It's, an, it's a question of ability. No man can say. He is not talking about the one who goes, you know, the pastors, they come after and say after me, Heavenly Father, I receive Jesus. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. That's not, you haven't said anything yet. Not everyone. There are, you see, the people who truly say, it's not when they came out that they are saying it. They said it on their, it was when they were sitting down, the word of God hits them. And then they came to that realization that Jesus is Lord. And I better give my heart to him. So most times when we make altar call, the people are already saved already. It's not when we lead them to say the prayer that they get saved. Salvation is the pure work of the Holy Ghost, not our work. We, we preach the gospel, we teach men, but it is the Holy Spirit that convenes their heart. Now when he does the work of conviction, they are the ones who get convinced in their heart. So he uses our words to convey the message. Thank you, Jesus. All right, let's go on. He says, now verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. Now, see, he didn't say there are nine gifts. He said there are diversity. There are diversities. But the same Spirit. And there are differences of administration, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operation. There are diversities of operation. But it's the same God which walketh all in all. I love what... You see, listen, he says, first of all, he says, there are diversity of spirit, of gifts, but the same spirit. Then he goes on to say, the administration is different, but it is the same Lord. See, the Lord is the one who chooses how the gift is administered. And then there are different kinds of operations. But it is the same God. Hallelujah. You know, you remember one time the disciples of Jesus came to Jesus and said, Hey, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. But he was not one of us. So we forbade him. What did Jesus say? He said, No, don't forbid him. And that's when Jesus said, because no one who cast out a demon in my name will most, would likely speak evil of me. Now, now just, just picture it today. They, they went out and then they saw someone preaching and, and, and doing miracles and casting out demons. And they look like, hey, I'm sure Peter must have asked John, John, do you know that guy? Um, no, I don't know him. Um, James, have you seen this guy in our meetings before? No. So how come he's doing what he's doing? I don't know. Are you sure he's real? Can't be real. We, would have, we should have seen him. He should have been one of them. We are the only ones that have been authorized to cast out demons. And then he say, hey, 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 stop what you're doing. How, how, by what authority? And the guy said, I, I don't know. I'm just, just doing what I'm led to do. He said, stop it. You don't use that name anyhow. And then they came to Jesus. How did he, the Bible didn't tell us how the guy came about that, that anointing that he, is, he was walking by. But Jesus said, don't stop him. So Jesus approved of it. Why? Because there are difference, there are, there are diversities of administration or operation. But how is it working? It is God that is working in all of it. That's what he's saying. So, you know, like today, say, you know, somebody is doing a miracle and they say, eh, the person doesn't use 
He doesn't call Jesus. He calls Jesus. There's something, there's something wrong there. There's something wrong. Can, have you noticed? He doesn't say Jesus. What he says is Jesus. Why can't he mention Jesus? Okay. Now, there are <laughs> differences in operation. Different kinds of operation. But hey, it is God that is working in them all. He says, oh, it doesn't mean everywhere, everywhere we see them doing is God. It doesn't mean it's God. He's just telling you that God works in diverse ways. So don't rush to condemn someone just yet. Don't. All right. Now look at verse 7. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit without. Did you see that? I want you to understand something. He said there are diversities of gifts. It's the same spirit that is working it out. There are differences in administration. The same Lord is above all. There are diff diversities of operation. But it is God who's working all. Then he now used the word but. The manifestation of the spirit. Which spirit now? The spirit of God. Is given to every man. For profit. Now, for profit doesn't mean so that you guys used to be making money. Someone reads this, oh, I've seen how never to be broke again. This, this, this gift I have. And you know, I used to prophesy right, from henceforth. Anyway, I'm prophesying, you must give me money. <laughs> you, know, you know, there are people like that say, ah, ah, come and drop money here so that I will prophesy. And someone said the money is not enough. Ah, the, prof the, the, the prophecy did not flow. Those, those are merchandise. They are merchandising the gospel. <laughs> they, they were not sent by God to do what they are doing. I'm telling you the truth. You don't, need, you, don't need to, you don't need anyone to tell you that. Such people were never sent by God. Because when God sends you, freely you have received, freely you give. And when God has sent you, you will be, listen, you will be in such a hurry to, to, to minister what God has put inside your heart. You will have time for drama. So, but, but is it, is this the manifestation of the Spirit of God is given to every man for profit? Now, what does it mean for profit? To benefit your life. So you will never be stranded. Oh, I love this. You see, God has, when God gave us the Holy Spirit, Get this. When God gave us the Holy Spirit, He gave us everything. Actually, He gave us all of heaven and on earth. He gave everything to us. I'll tell you this. There is nothing you need in this life. If you have the Holy Spirit, there is nothing you need in this life that you don't have inside of you. You can just bring it out. Now, the challenge most times is the bringing out of it. Many people are not patient enough to believe in themselves that this thing is in you. Calm down. Settle down. Ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, I love to call the Holy Spirit our control center. <laughs> our central control center. Now, what do I mean our central control center? Anything I want, anyone I want to reach out to. Holy Spirit, how do I reach this person? He will give me the person's contact. <laughs> now, what do I mean? You give me? Say, does it mean you mean the Holy Spirit will give the person's contact? No, no, no. The Holy Spirit will just say, call so and so person and ask him. And I'll make a call. Do you know so and so? Oh, yeah, he's my friend. Oh, really? Okay. I've been trying to get this thing, you know. And, oh, okay. Oh, ah, ah. For you, I'll do it. I'll do anything. Praise God. That's how it works. We've got the control center in us. Hallelujah. And it's for your profit. Never. I want you to just lift up your right hand right now and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit, because you are in me, I declare right now, I will never be stranded again in my life. In Jesus' name. And so shall it be with you. Praise God. Because that's what he is there for. Now he says, for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. See? For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge. By the same Spirit. So he is saying, it is when you see one manifesting the word of wisdom. 
and you see one manifesting word of knowledge, it's not a different Holy Ghost. So I'm saying, I wish I can have the kind of Holy Ghost this person has. It's the same Holy Ghost that is in you, that is working in that person. You know, someone say, me, I know, I know my. Now, now I want you to, I want you to get something here. These manifestations are not peculiar to people like like me. The, the, the gift of the spirit I have is word of knowledge. No, it's not. You have the Holy Ghost. That is what we all have. I pray you understand this. You know you limit yourself when you start confessing that me, the one I know I have is this one. Because that's the one you allow to operate in you. You can actually allow every, all the diverse manifestations of the Holy Spirit as long as you need them. So let me just run through, run, 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 run through these things now. It says, For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, and to another word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gift of healing by the same Spirit, to another working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of Spirit, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he wills. Praise God. Now, he just told you. Now, now, I want you to understand something. These are not all the manifestations of the spirit. Now, that's why I told you from the very first verse, we needed to take out that word gift. And, 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 and so we don't limit it. He didn't say there are only nine gifts. He just said there are manifestations and then he began to list some of them. So you find, you find Bible, any miracle they see, anything they see, they want to bring it, they want to see how they can connect it to one of these nine gifts mentioned here. The Holy Spirit is at liberty to do whatever he wants to do. Even if it is new, that you have never seen it, you cannot explain it yet. He, he's got things to do. He, he did in the Bible say, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has he been revealed to the heart of man. What God wants to do for them who love him. Why are you saying that? That scripture is for the Old Testament. Now, all eyes have seen it. <laughs> There are things the Holy Spirit is still revealing to us. I'm telling you the truth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So he, he goes on and he begins to, began to list all these things. And he says, this is, these are the operations of the Holy Ghost. This is the way the Holy Spirit works. He says, what of, what of, what of wisdom? Now, what is word of wisdom? Now, this, this is the gift that this should be your number one gift, praise God, that you, man, you love to manifest. Now, now remember, Paul says, no, sorry, James said in James 1, 6, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask from God, right? So what you need the most in life is the operation of wisdom in you. So what is word of wisdom? See, word of wisdom is when the Holy Spirit, when, when you begin to get interpretation of situations and things by the Holy Spirit. So in, in that way, you know what to do. You can tell times and seasons by word of wisdom. Now the purpose, remember, the purpose is to profit you. He's not saying, you know, that's one mistake people make. He's not saying, you, go look for somebody that has a word of wisdom so that he will give you the wisdom of God. No. You, the Holy Spirit is in you. You want to know what to do. You know, sometimes, you know, sometimes people say, I don't understand my dream. Ask, ask the Holy Spirit for wisdom. That's what you need. Oh, there are certain occurrences I cannot put together. Word of wisdom is what you need. For your profit. So he says, the next one he says, word of knowledge. What is word of knowledge? The ability from the Holy Spirit to tell things that your mind didn't know before, but that already exists. That's word of knowledge. Things that already exist. And then secondly, word of knowledge also means the opening of your mind to certain solutions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our time is up. Listen, as I 
share these things. I pray that the Holy Spirit, as you yield yourself to him, the Holy Spirit will begin to manifest himself in you. And you'll begin to see these things working in your life. Praise God. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.